Hey, I'm Randy, and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Thanks for joining me today on the channel to watch about the audio equipment. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like ampers, ampers, DAX, amplification fires. Any audio equipment should cost more than, I don't know, some emergency dental work. You got power conditioners made out of unicorn tears and speaker cables that need to have their non-conductive sheaths charged up shouldn't cost more than emergency dental care so that you can live your life pain-free without having searing debilitating pain shooting through your jaw and you can eat and these don't what are they they're the sound core true wireless liberty pro 2 all right hold on i'm gonna show it to you these So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Soundcore Liberty Pro 2 by Anchor. Today's sponsor, Goebbels Interconnects. Each one of Goebbels Interconnects is coated with a magic organic nanotechnology that's non-conductive but suddenly somehow makes your sound better and it comes in a variety of choices uh, you can get smooth or crunchy Goebbels RCA interconnects because it makes a huge difference they're only $700 a piece Goebbels interconnects they make a big difference you got to charge up the uh, the nanotechnology that's around it and make sure there's no rodents in your house otherwise they'll eat it my hands are all gross oh. sound court all right just gonna wipe it on my jeans sound core. so what are these I've gone down a rabbit hole I had a couple companies contact me that wanted me to review their wireless earbuds IEMs whatever you want to call them and so I, I did I listened to them and I I gleaned a bit of enjoyment out of them like I like at some point I was like hmm I get it like when I'm walking through the supermarket and then I was like I bet there's some better ones out there so I went on the Amazon and I looked around for IEM reviews, you know, wireless IEM reviews and anchor solutions or whatever products they make like power strips and stuff, but it's really good. Stuff. Actually, I have one over here. It's like a USB charger and a little cube that is a, I don't know, power cube strip cord. And they make a line of headphones and IEMs or earbuds called Soundcore, and some of them have like sixty-seven thousand reviews. I was like, "What the heck?" So I got these. These are the Liberty Two Pro, and they're the the little ones, right? They're not like the, the looks like a I don't know exclamation point, and you stick it in your ear like the ear pod bud ear air air ear pods. I think that's the name. So they're not like that. They're just like. You, you pop them in there and I got them I, I listened to them the reason why I got them though is because they actually have a companion app which includes uh, you can change the controls on there and then you can uh, do EQs and it's not just like a regular EQ that you can do you can do that but they also have like 10 preset EQs from Grammy award-winning producers and they have their own kind of house EQs like 12 of them and then they have a parametric EQ not only that but they actually have a sound test hearing test through their app that you interact with it and you touch it when you can hear it and then it gives you a curve and it gives you a EQ dependent upon how your hearing is and they're like $110 so I'm like okay 
And I've been playing around with them. And frankly, they're pretty good with caveats. All right. So let's talk about the app. Let's talk about the let's talk about the Soundcore app. Okay, so I just connected them to my app, okay? I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures and stuff of how it looks. But the first thing you have to do is download the Soundcore app. So you download that to your phone. you got to register for an account or what have you. And then there are basically two options. I always say okay. I apologize for that. Okay? I'm just kidding. I'm going to try not to do it anymore. It's going to be difficult. So there's two options. The controls, it's a little finger with a button. You can change it. So like on left and right, it's either previous or next track if you double click it. However, there's a drop down menu and you can you can assign voice assist or you can assign volume or volume down. And I've done that with the one second hold. So you can either double click or one second hold. So in the app, there are one, two, three, four. So there is the hearing test, then there's a custom EQ, and there's the professional EQ, which is basically just EQ settings that different people have come up with. There's two, four, six, eight, ten of those. And they don't show you what it looks like from a parametric standpoint, but you can just cycle through them, see which one you like. And then they have the default, which is Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 default EQs. And that's like bass boost, bass reducer, talk boost, deep, dance, electronic, hip hop, all that stuff. All that jazz, no pun intended. Let's talk about how they sound. Out of the box, when I turn these on, granted, I think maybe there's a bit of burn in, or maybe there's a bit of brain burn in. Out of the box, the default settings when I didn't have the app installed was basically like, whoa, bass. I mean, so much bass and so much treble. It was. I don't know, I guess you call that V-shaped, but it was so aggressive. So I downloaded the companion app. I played with around with my own EQs, and the EQ that I came up with initially was a frown. So basically the opposite of a V-curve. So out of the box, the default settings to me sounded very V-curve-ish, and I had to do an upside-down frown to get them where I wanted to them to be. With that said, I still felt like there was some definite bumps in the treble area around the sibilance area, sibilance area, cymbal crashes and stuff was very pronounced and icy or, and it sounded like white noise being pumped in. I've tried out a bunch of different, of a bunch of different EQs. And what really what I've settled in on now is their standard EQ flat. So something has happened. Either it was defaulted to party mode, melt your face off mode, and that was what the default baked in one was, or they broke in and burned in a bit. Because right now I run them flat. And that's perfect for me. These, they're very clear. And I'm not going to measure these against a wired IEM. I'm going to measure these at what they are. This isn't meant for... This is meant for audio enjoyment. This is meant for people that are jogging. This is meant for people to enjoy music on the go. And that's what they do. And they do an admirable job. They're built very well. I like the fact that they have a button that depresses rather than some type of wonky touch controls that don't always work. Especially when you have old man dry hand calluses like myself. A lot of times the touchy touchy doesn't work very well because my hands are gross. 
I like the buttons. If these had a lot of the other functionality as far as like being able to hear your voice, like if your voice is picked up a bit by the, by the mics and pumped back in, because I feel like I'm screaming when I do have them on. So the microphones work great. They sound pretty good. I talked to some people over the telephone or like FaceTime. They hear, heard every word I said. Now, it's not perfect because those are itty bitty microphones, but it works and you can use them at work. If you're just gonna listen to music or you're just jogging or whatever, I think these are an awesome choice. I think they're an awesome option for you. If you're looking for more of a kind of all-arounder, I use these for work. Maybe wait for my next review of the next Soundcore. They have a ton of ear silicone tip things for all different sizes. They also have like little wings on there that are also of different sizes. They sound good. They're light. They work. I haven't felt a need to even switch the ear tips or the wings. Could I? Yeah, of course, but they haven't really moved around too much. I use them when I go to the supermarket. I use them when I'm, you know, have some time and I'm waiting to get a haircut, whatever it is. They're very convenient. And the biggest litmus test for me is I'm enjoying the music on the go. Quickly a connect to the phone. I think these are Aptex and AAC as far as the Bluetooth codec, but they don't do a very good job of like celebrating that. And normally that would be off-putting to me, but in this case, I'm just trying to be like, am I enjoying the music? Am I enjoying the music? Am I enjoying the music? And the answer is yes, I am enjoying the music. I don't know what codec's being used. I'm just enjoying the music. It's very clear. It doesn't sound muddled. It doesn't sound super compressed. It sounds great. Frankly, it sounds incredible. And there's even imaging and soundstage stuff going on. I never judge a wireless headphone against a wired headphone because everything that's wired in Bluetooth these days is DSP involved. The cool thing about this IEM wireless headphone is you tailor it to what you want. It's just like the, the very celebrated Sony WH something or other 1000 M4. I think John Darko, I, well, I don't think, I know John Darko did a review on them. That headphone out of the box is very bassy, bloated, and gross. You have to use the app. So with DSP, I think the audio world is moving towards Here's a blank canvas and you design what you want to hear. And you can do that on these. They're great. They're awesome. If you want more functionality, this might not be the one for you. If you want great sound, you can make calls. People can hear you on the go. Very easy. Nice little case. Goes like that. Of course, the case charges the earbuds. I don't know what the battery life is it's probably 12 or 14 hours be a, an adult and ch plug them in at night and you'll be fine bottom line is i like them i like them i'm gonna keep them i like these better than the other the ones that people sent me for free these are they just sound better and the app is really good and soundcore is definitely here to stay they're crushing it they're crushing it with their noise canceling headphones. I think I'm gonna get some over the ear noise canceling as well to give them a try. If you wanna support the channel, link to my Patreon is in the description, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. We do Zooms every Sunday night for just the patrons. It's a good time, we're getting to know each other. You, if you use any of my links, I get a small commission. If you buy the product, it doesn't cost you any more. You can also sign up for Amazon HD Music for free. Click on the link, scroll to the bottom, click Try HD. I have my Test Track Playlist album, album playlist in the description. And my new playlist, The Satanic Panic, is also in the description. So if you want to jam out to the curated music that I put together, 
please sign up for Amazon HD. You get three months for free and I get a couple of dollars, okay? So don't binge watch anything. Binge listen. Listen. The music can fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the cheap audio man.